Welcome to the video lecture on the subject Computer System Architecture CS405 Module 1 based on the Kerala Technical University. Today's topic is System Attributes to Performance. As we discussed in the earlier session, the performance of the computer system depends on two factors, machine capability and program behavior. Machine capability can be enhanced with the following factors like better hardware technology, innovative architectural features, efficient resource management. There are many factors affecting the program behavior. It includes algorithm design, data structures like array, linked list, graph and all, language efficiency and skill of the programmer, compiler technology. These are the factors affecting the performance of the system. Includes cycle time, it is represented as tau, clock rate f it can be represented as 1 by tau that is inverse of cycle time next one is cpi means cycles per instruction instruction count it is represented as ic processor cycle p memory cycle m and the ratio between memory cycle and processor cycle it is denoted as k let's discuss these per performance factors in detail First one is cycle time that is denoted as tau. It's the time taken to complete one clock cycle. Next one is clock rate and denoted as f. It is the inverse of cycle time so f is equal to 1 by tau. Next one is instruction count. How many machine instructions to be executed in a program? It is represented as instruction count ic. Next one is cpi means cycles per inst instruction. Number of cycle taken to execute one inst instruction. It is represented as CPI. Then let's uh, then let's discuss about how to compute the CPU time using this performance factors. As I discussed earlier, CPU time is the time needed to execute a program. It depends on following factors. First one is instruction count IC. Second one is CPA, cycles per instruction. And third one is cycle time. So, T can represent it as IC star CPI star tau. The instruction execution involves a cycle of events like fetch, decode and execution. So, we can say that the instruction fetch, decode, operand fetch, execution store result there are five operations in a instruction execution so in this instruction instruction fetch operand fetch and store result use the memory access whereas the decode and execution carried out by the cpu so uh, the memory and the cpu has a role in the instruction execution the next one is cpi that means cycles per instruction. It can be divided into two component terms. First one is processor cycle denoted as P and the memory cycles denoted as M. And also it depends on the uh, ratio between memory and processor cycle. It is denoted as K. So we can say that T is equal to IC into C P plus M into K into tau. That means from this equation we can say that CPI is equal to P plus M star K. It is depends on the memory cycle, processor cycle and the ratio between memory and processor cycle. So CPI is equal to P plus M star K substitute in this equation T. That means we get T is equal to IC into P plus M. M star K into tau, where P is equal to number of processor cycle needed for decode and execution, M is equal to number of memory reference needed, K is equal to uh, ratio between memory and processor cycles and also the tau is equal to processor cycle time. Got it? And what do you mean by memory cycle? As I said earlier, it is the time needed to complete one memory reference. It is denoted as M. 
as I said earlier, the instruction execution involves a cycle of events. In these events, instruction fetch, operand fetch, and the store result use the memory access. And the ratio between the memory and processor cycle, it is denoted as k, depends on the speed of cache memory, memory technology used for the execution, and also the processor, processor interconnection scheme. Let's move to the system attributes. We have already studied five performance factors, right? What are they? IC, instruction count. P, processor cycle. M, memory cycle. K, the ratio between processor cycle and memory cycle. So, the clock time. These five performance factors are influenced by four system attributes. That are, first one is instruction set architecture. Second one is compiler technology. Third one is CPU implementation and control. Fourth one is cache and memory hierarchy. The instruction set architecture affects the program length that is IC and the processor cycle needed that is P. The compiler technology affects the values of IC, P, the processor cycle and the memory reference count M. Next important factor is MIPS rate. That means how many instructions are executed per second? We can compute how many instructions are executed per second through MIPS rate. It is based on the following factors. Clock rate F, instruction count IC, CPA of a given machine. That means cycle per instruction of a given machine. And MPS rate is equal to IC divided by T star 10 raised to 6. So we can replace this T as T is equal to IC instruction count into CPI into TO. So we can replace this T as IC star CPI star T. So we get MIPS rate is equal to IC divided by IC star CPA star TO star 10 raised to 6. So this IC and this one get cancelled and we know that 1 by TO is equal to F. So we can replace this 1 by TO is equal to F. So we get the equation as like this F divided by CPI star 10 raised to 6. And also the CPI means clock time C divided by instruction count. So we can replace this CPI as C divided by IC. So we get F divided by C divided by IC star 10 raised to 6. So we can write the equation as MIPS rate is equal to IC star F divided by C star 10 raised to 6. And next one is throughput rate. CPU throughput is represented as WP. It's a measure of how many programs can be executed per second based on the MIPS rate and average program length. So we can uh, write the equation as WP is equal to F divided by IC star CPI. It's a very important equation. So uh, I will repeat WP is equal to F divided by IC star CPI. Then next uh, let's move to the first problem. First read the question carefully. A benchmark program is run on 40 MHz processor. The executed program consists of 1 lakh instruction executions with the following instruction mix and clock cycle count. So there is a table that represents the instruction count and cycle per instruction for each of the instruction type like integer, arithmetic, data transfer, floating point and control transfer. So the problem is determine the effective CPI, cycle per instruction, MIPS rate and execution time for this program. So here in the first line, the benchmark program is run on a 40 megahertz processor. So, what is the value of F? 
the clock speed of the processor is equal to 40 megahertz and we can compute the number of cycles from that table first one is instruction type so first instruction type is integer arithmetic the instruction count is 45000 and the cpi is equal to 1 so uh, how many cy cycles are there in the arith integer arithmetic type 45000 into 1 that means 45000 in next one data transfer the instruction count is 32000 per cycle and cycle per instruction is 2 so we can we get uh, the total number of cycle is equal to 32000 into 2 is equal to 64000 cycles and third one is plotting point the instruction count is 15000 and cycle per instruction cpa is 2 so the total number of cycle be 30000 and next one is control transfer the instruction count ic is equal to 8000 and cycle per instruction is 2 and the total number of cycles is 16000 so what is the total number of cycles the total of 45,000 plus 64,000 plus 30,000 plus 16,000 total of this column, right? So, the total number of cycles required to execute complete program is equal to 1,55,000 cycles, okay? Then, we can represent it as capital C is equal to 1,55,000 cycles. Oh, so, what is the CPA? CPA means C divided by IC, uh, the total number of cycles divided by the instruction count. Here we know the uh, instruction count is 1 lakh. So, CPA means 1 lakh 55,000 divided by 1 lakh is equal to 1.55. So, we get the CPU as 1.55. Okay. The next question is MIPS rate. We know the equation of MIPS rate is equal to F divided by CPI into 10 raised to 6. Here F is equal to 40 megahertz. So, uh, we substitute the value 40 here divided by CPI 1.55 into 10 raised to 6. So, after computation we get the value 25.8 as a MIPS rate. Next question is uh, compute the time taken for executing that program so uh, we know that f is equal to 40 megahertz so what is the value of tau tau is equal to 1 by 40 we all know uh, f is the inverse of clock time so f is equal to 1 by tau or tau is equal to 1 by f so we can substitute this value here t is equal to ic instruction count star cpa cycles per instruction star tau is equal to 1 lakh into 1.55 into 1 by 40 so we get the value 3.875 ms uh, so the total time taken for executing the program is 3.875 ms this is the solution of the problem this is the next problem for you to practice read the question very carefully and try to answer it hope you understand the session Thank you.